So after Bud Dupree's huge season in Pittsburgh alongside TJ Watt, he wanted big money. Mike Tomlin was like, no thank you. We trust our ability to develop players like Alex Highsmith and, you know, our system will let him walk. And he got seven sacks in two years in Tennessee. And Alex Highsmith had 14.5 sacks in this year alone. Now the Steelers have big interest in bringing back Bud Dupree. But of course, he's going to be a backup, a really damn good backup, because I still think he can bring a lot to a football team. But y'all remember when I posted that video saying the Steelers are going to move on from Bud Dupree because of Alex Highsmith and that Alex Highsmith is the better player. And then a lot of people just call me crazy and disrespectful because here's Alex Highsmith as a rookie, two sacks, and then Bud Dupree, who you know, was coming off a huge year, and they're like, what are you talking about? And then I was like, listen, just look at the All-22 film, look at Alex Highsmith's complete pass rush arsenal, and tell me that he isn't going to be really great in the future. And then we're in this situation now. With all that being said, though, Bud is no scrub whatsoever. He's still fast and explosive off the edge, and I really do feel like he could have similar success to what he had when he was in Pittsburgh two years ago, or three years ago, whenever it was, because at the end of the day, he's going to have TJ Watt again. He's going to have Cam Hayward again. Now Larry Okunjobi, he's going to have more help and less attention on him, but that Alex Highsmith rotation, him, TJ Watt, Bud Dupree, you know, all those guys just swapping in and out. Nobody gets tired. It would be a really dangerous rotation. And while Bud didn't put up the stats in Tennessee, because again, no TJ Watt, he's getting chips, he's getting more attention, he's getting the stuff that TJ Watt had to deal with when he was in Pittsburgh, I still feel like he can put up some pretty good stats in Pittsburgh if he comes back, probably more than seven sacks in two years, even as a backup. So if the Steelers do bring him back it's just a pure master class from Mike Tomlin, Omar Khan, Kevin Colbert. Again, this is just trusting your system, trusting your ability to develop young players. So when an older dude wants a bag and can get it from another team and you have to match that to keep the player, you don't really have to do that. You can say, all right, fine, go over to that system, see how it works out. We'll talk in a couple of years if that's what it is. But the younger guy steps up, the standard is the standard. All right, Alex Highsmith, you're going to be really good. He is a very good player now, 14.5 sacks later in one season, and is now about to get a huge deal. So this is what Mike Tomlin means by the standard is the standard. No matter who goes, the standard remains the same. But man, it's going to be a real problem for offenses if the Steelers get a backup like Bud Dupree because he still showed good things on film. Again, still very, very athletic. Bud Dupree isn't going to lose that burst to him. So I'm excited if they pull this off. I'm excited either way because this defense is going to be stacked, especially after the draft. But let me know what y'all think about Bud Dupree possibly returning to Pittsburgh. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. That is it for me on this one. Peace.